of shock from the stories I had heard. While I had done extensive research on period poverty, which is defined as a lack of access to sanitary napkins, um, adequate disposal facilities, and quality menstrual education, nothing could have prepared me for the real and individual experiences I was going to hear. One of the girls I had met, who was mine and your own age, had a two-year-old toddler. Meet Kriti, who got pregnant at the age of 12. <coughs> Kriti leads an incredibly hard life. She dropped out of school to raise her baby, inconsistently attends online classes, and doesn't speak English. Indian society has failed her, as she is missing an incredibly important education in reproductive health and pregnancy, one huge aspect being menstruation. As a result, she uses cloth and doesn't know the impacts of it. Her family has no financial means of buying sanitary napkins, and her village has no trash can for girls to throw away their used observant. And she will likely spend the rest of her life living in this slum, trapped in the same cycle over and over and over again. Now here's the problem. There are countless girls like Kriti all struggling with the period poverty. Yes, one in five girls drop out of school every year just due to period poverty alone. In India, that's 20 million girls a year. At over five years, that's 100 million girls that, are, that will have dropped out of school. This is largely due to not having access to sanitary napkins and not knowing how to deal with their periods, which are direct results of how deeply stigmatized menstruation is. And this stigmatization is shown in other ways with nearly all of the girls that I talked to all saying, of course we're not allowed in the kitchen when we're on our period. And even the teacher agreeing with them, saying, you know, this is normal, this is everywhere. And when asked whether they would continue to do this for their own daughters and restrict them from going into the kitchen, again, all of them responded with a resounding yes. Stigmatizing menstruation is so normal that even the youngest generation, our brightest hope, will continue to perpetuate the stigma. Now there are some solutions, but the best long-term solution for this issue is to destigmatize feminine hygiene and incorporate menstrual education into school curriculum. By initiating public policy that encourages schools to do so, students will gain three things. Number one, they will have more knowledge on their period. When I went to India, so many of the girls had such a lack of basic knowledge that they didn't know how to deal with their cramps, with their pain. Therefore, providing quality menstrual education will solve any issues or burning questions that they might have. Number two, they wouldn't continue to believe that periods are a dirty, taboo thing to talk about. If schools provide quality menstrual education, they would come to realize that it's a normal, physiological process that should not be changed. And finally, number three, there would be more of an open environment and space for girls to talk about their periods without feeling shame, which is so important for healthy mental and physical development. In addition, once girls realize how unhygienic it is to continue to use cloth, the government will be pressured to provide unobstructed access to sanitary napkins. Once girls realize what the government is doing to them, the government will be forced to make a change. And this doesn't mean that we as individuals who will likely never have to face this issue, this doesn't mean that we cannot take action ourselves. We hold so much power to change the future of millions of girls, whether that be protesting insufficient policies or supporting underprivileged schools or just treating periods as a normal process. These are all in our reach. Every woman deserves to have the right to unobstructed access to sanitary napkins. But more than that, Every human being deserves to feel comforted and safe, even though what, even um, disregarding whatever they go through. Um, okay, um, it is only when we create a greater and more equal society that girls like Kriti will be able to get the opportunity and resources to make a better life for themselves. Now let's make it happen. <laughs> yeah.